to acknowledge the fundamental developments to intensify, intensify heat exchange uh, in uh, heat exchanging units, the award goes to Alexander Ivanovich Leontiev, Russia. Uh, distinguished Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me uh, to speak uh, at this podium, at this ceremony, my gratitude to the founders of this prestigious award and to the scientists which gave such a high uh, evaluation of my input into the energy sector. I'm very thankful to my colleagues, to uh, my uh, team who helped me to conquer this uh, top. Uh, someone sometimes said that uh, the career of a scientist is a long-term run. It is important uh, here uh, to say that uh, you are lucky if you are lucky with the leaders you are following to achieve good results. I was lucky. My first leader was a very well-known rocket scientist, uh, the member correspondent of our academy, Mr. Verkov. Uh, from his student years, he instilled in me the love and the passion for scientific research. After I graduated, I was with the Krasinovsky Institute for a decade where I was involved in issues uh, of um, cooling of liquid fuel rocket engines uh, and there we obtained very interesting results back then they were not uh, publicly uh, available but it turns out now that what we achieved back then was indeed uh, very important on the international scale I don't have the time to detail that now but all the results which we achieved there are now being made subject of international conferences discussion and received recognition. Then it so happened that I ended up at the Novosibirsk Academic um, town at the Institute of Thermal Physics where I met uh, an outstanding academician Kupuladze, uh, born in Leningrad now St. Petersburg, uh, who uh, went uh, from the first to the last day of the uh, Patriotic War. And perhaps this was the happiest uh, period of my life. I mean, myself and my family, which uh, who are here with me, uh, if uh, we not to take into account this very day, perhaps um, after, uh, this will be marking uh, an even more happier period of my life. I was uh, uh, working then and achieved fundamental scientific results for me as a scientist. Uh, we generated uh, a theory of persistent turbulence. We uh, developed a very uh, art-like types formulae. I will not be detailing that. I will just tell you that uh, during one of the international conferences I was met at the airport uh, not with the sign with my last name but with the formula which I discovered. So it was was a kind of international recognition of uh, my achievements. Then I came back to Moscow to the Institute of High Temperatures and along with that I uh uh, we received an offer to be chair of the guest turbines at the Bauman University and there I also worked with a, an outstanding leader in the energy of the 20th century, Kedmishin Solovich. Uh, in uh, his division I was working back then, focusing at uh, issues of heat exchanges in the steam generation uh, channels. Our energy units are heavily dominated by such uh, structures and there are very interesting things there about two-phase flows, etc. And so we used some of our developments and disseminated those onto a more earthly type of pieces of equipment and I think we were quite uh, successful. Uh, a number of uh, uh, scientific papers were written under my supervision in this specific area area. In terms of uh, my years with the Bauman uh, uh, Institute at the chair of gas turbines, we conducted researches primarily on the closed cycle gas turbine units for airspace application. Now the interest towards those is reviving and we 
generated the idea of uh, temperature-based uh, hardware-free stratification of the gas flow, which was mentioned here. The idea was a pioneering one back then, and even now, based on that idea, we built um, uh, a very unusual uh, inter-university laboratory uh, of uh, Moscow State University and the Bauman University, and we co-research in this area, and I'm convinced that we will uh, bring in a lot of followers of our school generating very high-level breakthrough results which could be applied for the uh, liquefied gas industry purposes which was discussed here so this is great pleasure for me to be here at this audience uh, and uh, in the presence of our president so uh, to wrap up I would like to say that indeed it took a lot of time but it was worth it I mean uh, the time I spent on training the staff of high level of qualification for more than 30 years the school of the young scientists of Tepl in Tepl physics uh, uh, works and operates we've had uh, 17 schools we're getting ready to host the 18th every school has its uh, agenda topic its uh, anthem its uh, slogan and the next school will be focusing on issues of uh, mass and heat exchange uh, in uh, energy saving uh, technologies and our motto is the uh, the word by academician Tom uh, a learner is not a vessel which you have to fill it's a torch which you have to light